Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome again to another painting tutorial. If you're new, hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Che and I hope you enjoy my painting videos. Today we'll be doing something different. If you've been watching my painting videos, uh, you probably have seen a lot of subjects, but this is the first time that I'll be doing a painting tutorial for this subject and I'll be doing some dolphins and of course, seascape is part of it so i'm just gonna get my glass of water to place it beside me because i'll be uh, coughing from time to time <laughs> so as uh, recently um i was sick so now that i've recovered i still have a um, you know coughing here and there so yeah please excuse me if i'll be coughing in the background but i'll get some water so that i save myself uh that time coughing <laughs> and instead just um, tutoring you for this painting tutorial okay so I'm gonna sketch first the subject and for the sketch it will be just an ordinary brush of mine any brush will do it's just sketch anyway there's no detailing yet so I'm gonna get my Thalo blue oh by the way I haven't told you the colors that we'll be using for the for the days for today's painting tutorial we have here um, Thalo blue I hope you can see that Thalo blue uh, burnt sienna black titanium white we'll be using a little bit of yellow later but that will be later only for the highlights so again let me get my phthalo blue i'm just gonna get some water to make it more liquidy to sketch the subject so i'm gonna identify first where the horizon is gonna go the horizon will be one third or two fourths of my canvas I'm eyeballing everything, so I'm using a square canvas, so this size will be the sea portion or the water portion. Okay, like that. And for the sketch of the dolphins, that will be later because everything will be on top of the seascape first because they are the main subjects so i'm gonna do first the waters and the sky and we'll do first the waters i'm gonna underpaint i'm gonna use my again phthalo blue mix it with black you can use brown if you want i'm just using black because i'm a fan of black paint so i'm just gonna go and use that color right here You know, to be honest, my blue, my phthalo blue is quite dry because this color, the paint tube has been with me for, I think, two years or more. It's quite dry. But I'm still um, making use of it as much as I can because I don't want to waste paint. Again, this is the underpainting, so you don't have to worry too much if it's not making any sense at the moment. All right. Okay. This is the underpainting. This is not the actual colors of the waters. All right, and then I'm gonna allow that first to dry. Let's proceed with doing the sky using the same color, blue, phthalo blue. I'm just gonna add white. Okay, using this sky blue color, I'm just gonna go ahead and paint the sky part.
okay so the lower portion of the sky will be a little lighter compared to the uh the higher part of the canvas so to make it quite dark blue we're gonna use our thalo blue just pure blue but we're not washing our brush so we're allowing that white paint to mix with the blue but the blue remains to be the more dominant color so it's like this it's not pure thalo blue but uh it's uh relatively uh, relatively darker than this blue down here My canvas paper is quite absorbent. That's why I keep on dabbing onto my water. I keep adding water because um, I'm having a hard time um, making the paint glide on the canvas quite smoothly. So if your canvas is quite smooth, not unlike mine, uh, you don't have a problem with that most likely. So I'm gonna get again my sky blue. This time I'll be adding a little more blue so it's like a gradient effect on the sky. So from dark from light to darker or darkest. Okay, just a few more bald spots right here. Alright, like that. And to make this lower portion in the sky quite lighter, I'm gonna get my white. And I'm just gonna make it more light. Again, we're trying to do a gradient effect here. You can do as many layers as you want. Me, just because my canvas is quite absorbent, I try to layer more so that the paint is not, um, or the paint becomes more visible, and more solid. All right. Okay, in the same manner, I'm just gonna dark oh this is this looks good already but i'm just gonna darken the upper portion of the sky so i'm gonna remove that white paint on my paintbrush and get my phthalo blue again my phthalo blue is quite uh dry so i'm just gonna try to darken it framing the canvas paper that i'm using or if you're using a stretch canvas it's the same thing only the material we differ from each other but we're still painting on surface so it doesn't really matter all right okay i'm gonna add a little bit of black so that it's quite darker okay again try to make some gradient effect I'm just gonna add a little bit of white to the blue, trying to relayer this midsection. And then I'm gonna get my white. I'm just gonna make some diagonal brush strokes. All right. 
head like that. Let me check. Okay, this is good. Now we can sketch definitely the... Oh, no, not yet. Because we have to detail the waters now, okay? So I'm gonna wash my brush out and maybe get another brush. I'm just gonna drink my juice. Okay, let's go back. So now let's do some detailing on the water part. I'm gonna get my phthalo blue again, just like this. I'm gonna apply that color on the horizon part. Okay, and then I'm gonna make some brush strokes like this crisscrossing like that trying to imitate the movement of water like this so the way you're gonna move your brush is like one two one two like that i know that i don't have to say that because you can see how i'm doing it but for purposes of those who actually want to prove that what they're seeing is what I meant. Uh, I had to say it like crisscross like that. I'm doing it in a quicker way. So you don't have to do it really slow in a, <laughs> like that because you might get some texture that you probably won't get if you're doing it quite slowly. Because if you're doing it fast like this, you're going to get some movement in the water that you probably won't get if you're too slow applying the paint. So I'm lightening the colors. I'm just adding white, but I'm still doing the same motion or brush strokes or brush strokes direction. Okay. areas will be covered with some splashes later because we'll be doing some like almost flying dolphins I'm gonna get my black okay just get your pure black let's add some depth Okay, like that. Then we can always go back to this later. And as I told you, this will be covered with a lot of splashes later. So don't worry too much if detailing is not that, um, or if the painting is quite raw at the moment. Okay, that will do for now, all right? For now, let's sketch the dolphins because I'm just too excited for the dolphins. Oh, by the way, let me just fix that sky. Again, I'm just trying to darken it. By doing this, I'm also framing the painting, making the viewer or the audience Focus more on what's on the center. All right, like that. Okay, let me just wash my brush out. Okay, by the way, let's do some clouds. I'm gonna get my white. Add a little bit of black to make it a little grayish. And I'm gonna remove the excess water from my paintbrush, dab it onto my towel. And now I'm gonna create some clouds because let's do, let's do some clouds. These are just background um, 
uh, detailing. If you don't want to do clouds, it's all right. These are just distant detailing. Just to suggest that the dolphins are almost flying. They're almost touching the sky. Small clouds here and there. I don't want to overdo the clouds because um, we want it to make it simple and more natural. Okay. All right, like that. Okay, and then we're done. You don't want to overdo that. Okay, I'm gonna sketch now the dolphins. And for the sketch of the dolphins, I'm just gonna use my pointy, pointy brush. I'm gonna get my black. Let's use black so that you can see it um, quite clearly as I sketch. We'll be doing two dolphins. One is near us and the other one is quite more distant. So I'm gonna be careful now because we don't want to repeat the process of doing the sky or the waters if we make a mistake with the sketching but i don't want to stress you so much about perfectly sketching it because again sketch is just a determination of where things are going to go okay? if you make a mistake just paint over it there's nothing to worry about even i am quite nervous about doing this so the dolphin will be right mm -mm, maybe here Okay, it's okay to commit mistakes inside the sketch, but not outside the sketch, <laughs> for me. Oh, it's so relieving to just reach that point. <clears throat> Oops. So it will be thin down right here, like that. Okay, of course, there will be some adjustments later. Okay, like that. All right, the tail, and then let's do the flap. It should be more uh, curvy. Okay, like that. And then let's do the flap right here. And another one right here but this is just the sketch so definitely this will get painted over later we're just trying to identify where things are gonna go okay all right so that's dolphin number one so for some areas, we'll, we, will be, we will be correcting those areas. Don't worry too much. Just try to sketch because I think sketching is the most difficult part or most challenging. Now we're going to do the more distant um, dolphin. 
this is same thing only that it will appear quite smaller simply because it's farther from us or from the viewer but it's basically the same thing the same um, logic how to do it make some long body right here it'll like that overlap the waters And that's dolphin number two. Oh my god. Ah, oh, that was so stressful. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna correct the the mouth. Alright. Okay, now let's underpaint the dolphins. I'm just so excited because we're done sketching. And you know, when we're done sketching, it only means it's all fun and games for me. It's all painting and coloring. So for the underpainting, I'm gonna get my black and white to create some gray color. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of blue. Okay. A little bit of blue, making it grayish blue okay i'm gonna underpaint or okay this is too light i'm gonna add more black it's too light maybe this color maybe add more blue more black it should be a little darker okay perfect now let's just underpaint the dolphin and when you underpaint it, try to remove the sketch lines already. That's why I told you earlier that it's okay. It's better to commit a mistake inside the sketch line than outside the sketch line. Because you'll definitely have to correct the outline of the painting if you, make, if you made a mistake outside the sketch lines. I hope I'm making sense. You just try to underpaint it enjoy this very relaxing time you don't have to worry too much about details just yet okay like this one i made a mistake here i'm just gonna correct it if you did not commit a mistake just like what i what i did you don't have to worry too much about that And as I go, I might make some adjustment. I'm just gonna make the mouth quite longer. Okay, just underpaint the whole body. Okay, now I'm gonna get my black and I'm gonna color the tail. Is that the tail or, yeah, let's just call it the tail. Okay. And then using black, I'm gonna already apply some darker colors.
Okay. <coughs> Okay, I'm going to use a cleaner brush just to correct this area. It's, it's looking so weird. Okay, so I'm just going to fix it. All right. Also the shape of this. Okay, all right, like that. Okay, now I'm gonna get some highlights, or I'm gonna do some highlights. I'm gonna use the same gray color that we have here. I'm gonna add blue and lots of white. Okay, like this color. And let's try to remove the excess water from the paintbrush. I'm not sure if it's already dry, but I'm just going to do it. I'm gonna get my white although I'm, I got my white here um, doesn't mean that it's pure white because I'm not really washing my brush that's why some of the dark colors are mixing with the white which is actually our target. Okay, I'm just gonna highlight the tummy area. Okay, again, white highlight for the tail and use pure white this time to go back to the back of the dolphin. Okay, we're not yet done with the fins of the, the dolphin. Okay, some highlights. Okay, I'm gonna get my black.
Okay, and some gray color. I keep reminding you to already delete that sketch line. Okay, then using some gray color. Okay, and now I'm going to darken the tummy area again. Leaving some portions highlighted. So I'm not really painting over the highlights that I already did. I'm just graying some areas. For now, I'm going to leave it like that before we go back to it. Let's proceed to the second dolphin right here. And we're going to do the same thing. I'm just going to get my dark gray. Remember that color that we already had for the underpainting of the first um, dolphin? Just going to do the same thing. Just color the whole thing with this color. Again, try to remove the sketch lines by painting over the sketch lines. Okay, now I'm going to get my black. All right, like that. Using black, I'm going to darken again. Just like what we did here, I'm just gonna darken some areas. We're not yet done with the first one. I'm just allowing the paints to dry. We don't wanna over uh, paint over some areas that we already did. And we somehow want to rest from doing that one. We want to move on to the next subject. that okay like that okay let's go back to the first one because we're gonna allow this second dolphin to dry okay using white I'm just gonna reapply some highlights on the back because it's being hit by the light I'm gonna get more white
Okay, and here. Let's go back. By the way, um, please watch until the end of this video. I'm going to make an announcement. A very, um, it's not um, quite interesting announcement. Missing pure white. Okay, now I'm going to get a little bit of my burnt sienna. We haven't touched my burnt sienna. <laughs> I'm going to mix it with white. Okay, I'm going to get this brown or I'm going to apply this brown on the tummy part. Okay, I'm going to make some brown and black mixture without washing my brush. I'm just going to tone down the blackness or the brownness of the color. Okay, just like that. I'm just going to make some... Hints of brown. I'm gonna apply hints of brown also here. Also here on the face. Okay, just like that. We want some hints of brown going on. Okay. I'm gonna get my black again, but this time I'll be adding a lot of water. I'm going to water it down and I'll be using this to glaze to glaze the dolphin. So using this black, I'm just going to go ahead and glaze the middle section of my dolphin. And I'm going to spread it just like that. It's not a very hard technique, guys. You just have to glaze it just like that. Just to mix or just to make the subject more coherent. And in the same manner, I'm going to apply it right here. Okay, just like that. Nothing too technical, right? It's very easy. Okay. I'm going to wash my brush out. I'm going to use a more pointy brush because I'll be doing the smaller uh, whale, oh, not whale, dolphin. I'm going to get my black and I'm just going to make the second fin right here. It's not a fin, right? It's a flap. <laughs> Let me get some juice first because mine.
So let's go back to the first dolphin. I'm gonna add, <clears throat> sorry, I'm gonna add a little bit of hint of blue. Also here. Because dolphins' bodies are shiny, so it reflects, it is somehow reflective of things. Again, I'm just going to make some tiny corrections. get my black let's do the eye okay like that and in the same manner let's do it here okay like that I'm gonna allow that first to dry I'm going to apply some more black, black detailing. Okay. Okay, now let's proceed to the water part. We might do a little more detailing on the dolphins, but we'll do that later. Let's move with the water movement. And for that, I'll be using my fan brush. So get your fan brushes ready. I'm gonna dab onto my white. I'm not wetting my brush at all. Okay, like this. Now let's create some movement in the water. I'm using the tip of my fan brush to create, okay, let's not use pure white. I'm going to add a little bit of black to gray, that, to gray that white down a bit. Okay, like this. Now I want you to move your fan brush in a very random manner to add movement to the water. We will definitely use our palette knife as I've mentioned already. But for now, let's stick to our fan brush. Create some movement. <clears throat> okay, now I'm gonna get my fan brush. Oh, sorry. 
I'm gonna get my palette knife. So just use the back of your palette knife and we're gonna dab onto the same color, white. Okay, just use the back and start creating more movement. Let me check. Mm, it's so nice. Okay, like that. Let me check. Okay. I'm gonna get my white. I'm gonna highlight this pen or this flap. I'm gonna get some blue. Okay, blue and black right here. To add more dimension to our uh, dolphins. Okay, now I'm gonna get my white again. Okay, and then some blue. Some browns. Okay, using some watered down black. Let's start, Ken. And pure black, let's just Okay. Ooh. Right here, I'm just gonna make some gray. Okay. 
Have you seen black? white for highlights Let me check. My gosh. Okay, I'm gonna get my water done black. I'm just gonna darken slightly. Okay, slightly darkening this. It's nice. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm gonna get my white. Okay, now I'm gonna get my pure Taylor blue. Use your pure Taylor blue to add more details on the waters. Now I'm going to add white to that blue. Let me just fix this part. Again, we don't want to, we want to avoid any sketch lines that are still visible.
Okay. Let me just fix this. I'm going to add more details on the clouds. I'm gonna mix blue and brown slightly color that sky part near the horizon with this color just try to darken it a bit Let me check. All right. Okay, I'm gonna get my blue, slightly coloring or glazing our dolphin with blue. I know that we keep on coming back on to certain areas that we've already uh, painted on, but that's how uh, our painting should uh, be free or that's how free sh our painting should be okay <laughs> so difficult to explain sometimes just because we've already um, passed through that area that doesn't mean we cannot go back and correct maybe add more details okay. I absolutely love it this is also my first time to do something like this, so it's quite um, refreshing. So now I'm going to use again my pen brush, but this time we'll be using some splashes. So I'm going to dab onto my white, but I'll be using a lot of water. And using this color, I'm just going to use another brush and make some tiny little splashes. You don't want to overdo this. Just tiny little splashes, making the painting more realistically um, wet. <laughs> Alright. Alright, like that. And then that's enough. Okay, this is good. Oh my gosh. I can use a little bit of gray in between the white and the black. This is so good. I actually told you guys to use a little bit of yellow, but I don't see the point of using yellow anymore. I'm just gonna get my burnt sienna and make this area a little more brown. Okay, we're done. I think we're done. Right, guys? Maybe not. I'm just going to highlight the mouth.
You're good. Again, some more fixing. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is something really different, right? So I'm going to sign this now because we're done. We're done. I'm going to use my... Um, I don't know. I don't have a... Okay, I'm going to use my gray. I don't know if you can still see the signature. Okay. And we're done, guys. So I hope you enjoy this one. And I hope you do this one as well. If you like this video, like this video. Share this with your friends. Let them know that I exist. And yes, as I told you, I'll be making an announcement. And here it is. So starting tomorrow, I'll be... I'll be traveling. I'll be traveling tomorrow to Taiwan. I'll be staying in Taipei for six months for a language scholarship. And I'll be painting there, of course. But I'm just telling you guys that there will be a different setting. Probably not this type of flooring anymore. Um, but I'll be painting there, definitely. It's just that it's a new place for me, so I'll be adjusting a bit. I know that it's six months, so a lot of things can happen there. And I probably won't be making a video for just a week, just to give me time to adjust to my own to my new place. And yeah, yeah, that's the announcement. So I hope you enjoy this one and see you in my next video. See you in Taipei. Mm -hmm.